let's make some grooved brain coral. And you can make it of many sizes. First step is to look for, it could be a brown, it could be an orange, it could be a yellow, but a color like that. And then you are going to be drawing um, this crazy line that wiggles and jiggles back and forth and it stays really close together. Do you see how I'm going very close and I go back and forth kind of like an earthworm or maybe like a bug that's uh, kind of creating those tunnels that you find in old wood. Okay, and I need to go and fill up every space of this. Okay, so I'm curving back and forth and I haven't stopped making my line yet. I keep holding it to my paper and drawing it all over, filling it up. Now I'm not scribbling, I'm just going all over. Now once I've done that, I'm going to go and cut off the medium sized triangles and then I cut off my tiny triangles. Tiny, 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 tiny tiny, tiny, and tiny. And I have some grooved brain coral. Let's do it together. So first step is to look for an oil pastel. That's an orange, yellow, brown, any of those will work. And then you're going to pick a spot to start and you are going to be drawing a wiggling, jiggling line that's continuous. You are not going to pick up that oil pastel until you're all done, okay? So filling all those spaces, okay? And again, I'm not scribbling. Scribbling is when I draw lines that cross over one another and not, not very thoughtful. If your lines cross, that's okay. But fill up that space. Now the very last step is to turn it into a circle. And so we're going to cut off the medium, or cut off medium sized triangle. So medium, 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 and medium. And now I'm going to cut off tiny triangles. Tiny, 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 and tiny. And I have, and you have, a grooved brain coral.